That was funny. General issues, inaccurate or invalid master data, unauthorized disclosure of sensitive information, loss or destruction of data, poor performance, data processing, integrity, signature controls, restriction of access to master data, review of all changes to master data, access controls, encryption, tokenization of customer personal information, backup and disaster recovery procedures, managerial reports, sales order entry, Okay, so this is not really relevant because we don't have sales orders. Wait. We don't have inventory stuff. Um, Credit limits, uncollectible accounts. So yeah, we may have credit uncollectible accounts. I mean, that's we had credit limits, evaluate credit score, set a credit limit, like credit limits if they can't pay. I don't know. Uh, whatever. So specific authorization to approve sales to new customers or sales. Uh, aging of accounts receivable, perpetual inventory. Yeah, that's not gonna. <laughs> training, training. Uh, periodic physical accounts. Yeah, that, those don't even apply. CRM systems. Loss of customers is shipping. Shipping. No, that's not. Doesn't apply. Billing. Billing is actually something that we need to work on because it says inaccurate billing amounts. Billing errors. So we have billing errors, 14. Uh, restriction of access. So. Configuration of system to automatically enter pricing data. Restriction of access to pricing master data. Uh, data entry edit controls reconciliation of shipping documents to sales orders so like that's inaccurate billing or billing errors um, uh, Fourteen point one point Is there going to be anything about like, uh, well, they don't specify what they mean by fraud within departments. There's lots of different ways that fraud could be committed within a department. So you need more to be more specific there. I don't know how I could s s give you a solution to that one. Uh, theft of cash, cash flow problems. So let's see, what are our problems here? Accurate billing, we already, I looked at that. There's a few controls listed there. I have no idea which ones they would want to include. Uh, now I have to actually type them all out. Uh, 
configuration of system to automatically enter pricing data. Data entry, edit controls. I'm going to type all these in and then I'm going to Shipping documents. No, that's not going to be. Recon reconciliation of shipping documents. I'm just going to say reconciliation of documents in general because I don't know. It's not going to be shipping. It's going to be something else. But uh, let's see. I'm going to type these in here. We'll copy and paste them in. So let's see what we got here. Have easily locatable recent rates for uh, have easily locatable. Uh, make sure that the most recent. Billing rates are easily access uh, locates available for all employees who may need them. So I kind of just copy what they already wrote there. How about the other one that they mentioned? So let's see, fraud within departments, poor budgeting, I mean poor budgeting, like what's the problem there, I have no idea, is it the, that the person doing the budget is not doing the job correctly, or is it hard to predict how much you need to have better planning of how, I don't know, 
basically with the problem with the poor budgeting thing is like their their institution is the entire purpose is that their employees serve time it's like the time that the employees serve is their resource and so they need to better manage their employees time somehow i don't know but um, I have no idea what the solution to poor budgeting is. Poor budgeting. Um, fraud, error, error in the time entered in the practice engine. So I have no idea about that one. That one is like, I don't even know if that's a weakness. Like they did include it there as a weakness. I don't know if it really is a weakness. They know more about that system than I do. I have no idea what exactly how much of a weakness it is like do the employees is there a chance for employees to in, enter inaccurate information about their time it does that is that a possibility uh like i kind of did look at that already like um oops i'm trying to So, chargeable time, let's see what they refer to it as. Time worked, um, inaccurate time worked. Employees, okay, so please, please come on. Worky stupid thing. I'm trying to fix this. I don't know how to do this. Oh my goodness. Really? <laughs> How do you do this? I don't get it. Bullet points. I don't understand how to... Finally, geez, my goodness, figured it out finally. Employees entering an inaccurate. How do you spell inaccurate? Inaccurate. Inaccurate. How do you spell inaccurate? Dude, it didn't even put a red line under it. Inaccurate. Okay. Worked. I have no idea. So, closely monitor, like, have a supervisor, like, monitor that or something. I don't know. Like, I saw it in the chapter, like, 17 or something. Let's see, which section was it? 17.2.2. So.
AT&T's internal service staff to use its touch-tone telephones to log in time spent on various tasks, thereby eliminating the use of paper time sheets, various data processing integrity checks, such as a limit check on hours worked, and a validity check on employee number. Okay, if we go to chapter 13, and it has uh, a few things relating to that there. Um, stop. Processing, integrity, availability. What does availability mean? Oh, I know what it means. Ensure a system's availability by minimizing the risk of system downtime and enabling efficient recovery. So it's not really that, it's under this one. So processing integrity, we have something here to do with various data processing integrity checks. So let's see, processing checks. Data process, database processing integrity controls. So I guess it would be under, so input. I mean, wouldn't it be under any of this stuff? Like how, okay, I'm just gonna look through these. Data entry controls, reasonableness and propriety. So, So there should be a limit check there, range check, a size check, a completeness check, a validity check, a reasonableness test. ID codes. So we have like all these checks here. I mean, there's all these like data entry controls, various data entry controls in 13.1.1. Calculation of batch totals. What did they say? Limit check on hours worked. Like limit check. Validity check on employee number. What does that even mean? What is a validity check on employee number? What does that even mean?
Data reconciliation, data transmission controls. Parity bits, my gosh. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go back here. I think I may be have a lot of stuff here. Stop. 12. Am I almost done? I feel like I may almost be done. Like, I'm not going to put anything in the PowerPoint because they can decide which what they want and then they can put it in the PowerPoint. Um, or they can have me put it in the PowerPoint. I don't know, but but they'd have to tell me what they want to include in that case, so. I just provide them with a bunch of options. I bet all of my options are terrible. Hopefully they like at least a few of them. If I, if at least a few of these are included, then I, then I, this is a success. That was fun. <laughs> What did I write from section 8.5? We have, I have a role like effectively supervise employees, uh, acquire annual vacations, sign confidentiality agreements, periodically rotate duties of key employees, segregate the accounting functions of authorization recording and custody. Okay, that's kind of a problem with, uh, that's kind of more of a, pro uh, a solution to financial cycle rather than the revenue cycle. But I mean, you still have to record. Okay. So, I don't know. Let's see here. So, what are we looking for? I, I'm looking for something. Dang it. No, I'm looking for more stuff here. Failure to bill, billing errors, posting errors, inaccurate credit memos, theft of cash, cash flow, problems. Okay, is there anything else I can add? Let's see. Various data entry controls. I guess I'll list a few of these. Uh, let's see here. 13.1.1. Like data entry controls, there's like field check, side check, limit check, range check, size check, completeness check, validity check, reasonableness test. Holy crap. So maybe I'll just, um, let's see here, field check, sign, limit. So we have like a limit check maybe. Did I already write limit check there? They suggested a limit check that, so I already wrote that one. How about a range check? Range, size, completeness, uh, validity check, reasonableness te chat, test. Let's say reasonable. I don't know. ID codes. I guess we don't really need them. We'll just list the two that they mentioned. So like validity check and limit check. Uh, so that, oh yeah, I guess I know what they mean by validity check means or what that validity check. An employee number uh, and limit check on hours worked. 
so I, yeah, I guess we're done with that pretty much. Like, um, what else? I mean, there's another thing we could do here. Um, what else is there? Like, have oh, let's see. They have they have a few more things, don't they? Where did Red find this? <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's more than one. Validity. Where did I find that one thing? Oh, I'm looking in the wrong section here. I'm supposed to look at this. Dang it. Okay. Source data automation. I don't know how you can really automate that. I don't know. Intentional, let's see, segregation of duties. And then reconciliation of, of reconciliation of data. Reconciliation of data. Time card data to be reconciliation of time card and the job time ticket data. Reconciliation of time card data with job time data, ticket data. Of time card data. Uh, job time. Data. I don't know if these are used here, but something something equivalent or, or something something uh
and requiring supervisors supervisors to um, review and approve time uh, re review and approve to review Let's see, what does it say? Review. To review. Time. Uh, employee. Time. Uh, that's it. So there, there we go. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty simple. So we got a lot of good stuff for the employee thingy. Multiple systems, billing errors. Make sure that the most recent billing rates are easy, easily locatable for our employees. Uh, I listed some stuff from there and what else? What's the problem with that they listed for inaccurate billing amounts? They basically, we need an up-to-date engagement letter placed into the client file. Um, so, so I don't know how to make how to make sure that the most up-to-date engagement letter is placed into the file. So. Not uh, like for the engagement letter thing, all I can think of is. To uh, to um, always to uh, keep better track of the engagement of to. Um,
poor budgeting, potential chance of fraud within the departments. Uh, poor budgeting. And poor budgeting. I don't know what to do for poor budgeting. Poor budgeting is a threat. So, like, running out of cash seems to be a problem. If it's poor budgeting, that must mean that you're you're either running out of cash or you're, I don't know, you're, that's, that usually that's what happens when you don't have a, when you have poor budgeting. Um, that's kind of a threat here, like, cash collections, cash flow problems. We have cash flow problems. 18. Lockbox arrangements. EFT or credit cards, discounts for prompt payment, and cash flow budgets. Cash flow budgets. We'll go to the cash collection section and see what it says about that. Shipping. My goodness, there's a lot of stuff here. This is a long chapter. Catch collections. I feel like I've made a lot of progress here. I feel like I've done a lot. I don't know. I've not done a lot. Oh, I hate this song. Stop. I feel like they're not going to get mad at me for doing literally nothing in class today because uh, probably what I'm going to do today in classes is when they're working on the project, I mean, unless they ask me to do something directly, I'm probably not going to do anything like I did before, but at least now I can say I've contributed something. So... So, let's see here. What I'm looking for is the last one, which is cash collections. So, we have cash collections I mean, that's a problem, like we already looked at that, but um, we were gonna look at the poor budgeting thing because basically cash, uh, oh, no, wait, what was it? It must be here. Safeguard customer remittances. It's not really about the, the cash being lost, it's about the fact that you, you don't have good, you don't have, you're, you're poorly budgeting. Like, handling like cash or checks. Uh, just. Cash flow budget. So, speeding up cash collections. Like, uh, something to do with that, I guess. Uh,. We already have discounts, but I'll list these in case any of them could be used that they're not currently using. Uh, poor budgeting. Um, problems like
So we have uh, use the textbook mentions um, use of lock box, lock box. Let's just write it down here. Um, dang. Uh, use of lock box arrangements. EFT credit cards. I don't even know what EFT means. Dang it. And offering discounts for early payment. They already do that, but um, um <clears throat> oh my gosh. Um, And then they say use a cash flow budget. Um, regular monitoring of a cash flow budget. So let's say um, a regular monitoring of a cash flow budget. And that's pretty much all they say there. So. There, I think we're good. Dude, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. I include all... Oh, stop. 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 How was I able to do this? I don't know. I just did Basically, I just looked at the weaknesses that they listed here, and then I tried to come up with solutions and looked in the textbook to see what their solutions were. And there you go. I found it. So... Dude, what if this was all completely pointless? But I'm sure that that's what our professor wanted. He wanted us to list weaknesses and solutions to the weaknesses. So.
And in fact, I could even add some stuff to this PowerPoint slide. I don't know if they really want to include all that stuff I listed under weaknesses and what order they want me to do it in. Like, again, I, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable writing their PowerPoint because, like, what if they want me to do it in a certain different way? Um, oh my gosh, why so laggy? Is there anything else I need to do? I mean, I could try to, I could list these weaknesses I could just copy and paste this list into the PowerPoint, but I don't know. Um, that anybody can do that. It only takes. Well, so that's all I'd be able to contribute, anyways. I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna make it all fancy like they did for the other slides. <laughs> like, look at this. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, anyways. So, I think I'm done. Yes, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, and I can't just list, I can't just have all these as solutions because I don't know which of these are applicable to their specific situation. They will they know more about it than me. So if they can, if they look through this and they see a few of these that they like, that that would that, that they're that was funny. Their firm would like to implement, if they, or the, their firm does not have one of these things in, implemented, and they would maybe that would be a good idea to implement. Then they can include that. They don't have to include all this stuff because all because again, maybe their firm does a lot of this stuff. I just don't really know it that they do this stuff. I'm just listing all the potential solutions. So, that's one. Which is my, ex which is, my, like this is my um, justification for not putting this stuff in the PowerPoint right now. I don't know what they would want me to include. That they're probably not gonna want to include all this stuff. This is just a lot of options for them to include. Just pick and choose the ones you want. So, that was fun. And this right here is why I didn't do any homework over the weekend, because I was dreading doing this. I had no idea I'd be able to do this, but this, I was able to do it. it like, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to come up with solutions, but I somehow came up with a solution for every single weakness. Um, so, that was funny. I keep checking my phone to see if it's charged, and it literally, my goodness, it says it's going to take five hours to charge. The charging time keeps going up, because it doesn't take five hours to charge. It shouldn't take five hours. Are you kidding me? What the heck? I mean, no wonder my phone's battery is always low. But I'm not quite done, because I still need to make sure... I'm not done with this homework because, yes, I'm I'm kind of done with the pro with my part in this project unless they ask me to do something else, and probably I'll help them present the do the presentation. Obviously, like maybe they'll have me do the weaknesses and solutions part of the presentation because I'm the one who came up with a lot of this stuff. <laughs> um, but other than that, I don't know if I really need to do anything else. Maybe what they could, I mean, if they want to, they could highlight the ones they want me to put in the PowerPoint and then tell me to put it in the PowerPoint. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to study. So basically, stop. I need to stop saying basically. I say basically all the time. I said basically so many times in that average of five reconstruction. That was funny. Have fun this evening.